good day. This video will show how you can run the N1500A materials measurement suit on your PC. Before you could prompt the software application, you would need to ensure you have a network analyzer connected to your PC. I have at the moment a few Fox um, that is connected remotely to my PC under an A mode. Once you have that connected and established, um, you can then go ahead and boot up the N1500A. And this is the startup screen that you'll be prompted with. Depending on the licenses that you have, you'll be able to select the different methods. So I will keep this with the coaxia probe method and hit start. Because I've established a connection before, it doesn't prompt me for a hardware connection or uh, settings. However, if you are um, trying to change the instrument, this is what you'll be prompted with. So you can go to preferences and select instrument. Or if you've not established a connection before, it will show hardware detection and It'll take a couple of minutes to detect what available instruments are there. So like I've mentioned, I have a few Fox N9917B connected. So this is what is shown. Um, if you have something else or additional instruments uh, like an ENA or a USB VNA, that would be shown here. And you can always do a rescan if it's not detecting it. Because I only have an, a few Fox connected at this moment, I'll just leave this and hit OK. It will then boot up your few Fox um, so that it's in the preferred measurement. So the first thing to notice is it would show you right at the top what method that's been selected. So if you have a different a uh, method selected, you can always change it. Or if you want to add a different measurement, you could go ahead and do that. So just a few things here. So under file, you'll be able to see um, setup files. So it's going to work as a NA. So the settings that you have, like your frequencies, um, your number of points or sweep points, it's all um, editable so you can save them if you just want to repeat a measurement and then of course you could export or save your s parameters um, and open them if you need to and establish a measurement report or to print and the view it's for to set up your task bars uh, your toolbars i'm sorry as well as um, how you want things to be detected here So under calibration, um, you could do perform cal once you have established all your settings. So otherwise, um, you can always just change some settings. I'm going to leave that as 101 points and hit OK. So as you hit the uh, OK button, it will take a little while for it to reset. So I had it set to two to three gigahertz. So once this is established, um, that should be reflected on your N1500A. So there you have, there I have um, the different settings. I can always go ahead and configure calibration. Uh, so depending again on what calibration type you have on probe type, um, you can do always do a load air and shot. That's also something um, known as a quick cal. There's user defined standards if you know what your um, calibration settings are. Um, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to hit OK. I can refresh cal. I can select port. Um, 
I'm just going to do part one. And of course, perform cal. So while that is ongoing, um, I would just like to show what you have on the side here. It's a limit test, so you can always set up uh, test lines. And what I'll do is, you know, as with any NA, you have um, limit lines shown and whatever that's filling would be prompted. Or it's a good display to have. So I would just like to add that you will need to ensure you have the correct cal kit for your measurements. Um, I would just like to declare that I do not have a cal kit at this moment. So I'm just letting the app run. And the calibration is definitely going to be out. So once that is loaded, uh, you could go ahead and hit measurement you can do multiple measurements um, depending on what you like to see um, otherwise i could just do a trigger measurement and it should start running so that was uh, fairly quick but you can see I have uh, measurements prompting as I go. Um, so with that, you can always change the parts that you have. I can do auto scaling, scale coupling, set scale. Um, you could always have a new chart to run a different measurement. Um, and then there's the usual data to memory and the trace math where you could put in equations where you find it necessary. Uh, of course, under trace attributes, you could change the color. And, um, you know, if you don't want it to be solid, you want it to be dash or dots. So these are available for tweaking. And um, font always on top, you could always change the title. You can also work offline if you don't have a measurement uh, or hardware connected, but you would like to just run a connection. Uh, then under preferences, there's also factory default reset. So if you have selected a different method, as I've mentioned earlier, you could go back and select the different measurements. And lastly, there's a help uh, file here that you could check for updates, um, as well as look at health topics, uh, help topics. So that's all I have at this moment. Um, so oh, before that, I would just like to say, so limit lines are where you could just put a line on and limit test is where it will show you whether your test or your measurement is passing or failing. Okay, so that's all I have. Uh, I hope this clip is useful. Thanks for watching. <laughs>